Hey, it's Maximo. On this video, one for train buffs, we'll be going from Yunazaka Onsen to Kanazawa on a slow regional train and a very fast Shinkansen. So join me for the experience. Our journey to Kanazawa begins at Yunazaki Onsen Station. The trip to Kanazawa involves two trains. One a regional train, which is about uh, 25 odd minutes and travels about 13 kilometers to the Shenkinson Station. And the second journey is a 35 odd minute journey from the nearest Shenkinson Station to Kanazawa Station. We ride the quaint regional railway once again. This is a service that departs about every hour and stops at all 10 stations along the way. It certainly is a slow train compared to the sheer speed of the Shinkansen. It's really great going past the rice fields and some of the small villages along the way and just mixing it with some of the locals on this regional railway line. After too long, we arrived at the Kurobi Yunazaki Onsen Station. This is the main Shinkansen station. While waiting at the station, we were fortunate to see two express Shinkansens whoosh by. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Shinkansen. The Hakutaka 553 five, departing at 10, 25, bound for Kanazawa, is arriving at track 2. We didn't have a great deal of time trying to buy tickets and we were somewhat flustered. We were helped by the very, very helpful station staff in using the vending machine to buy us a ticket on the Shinkansen. The other thing that struck us was this was a fairly quiet station. If it wasn't for a couple of the Shinkansens whooshing by at great speed, uh, quite a quiet station. There was only a few people uh, getting on the train here. We didn't have to wait a long time and our Shinkansen arrived. We hopped on and it left with the Shinkansen's usual punctuality. The tickets for this 100 km journey cost around 3,560 yen per person. This time we went uh, unreserved in a standard class uh, seat. Uh, it wasn't very busy uh, and there was no trouble getting a seat. Considering this was standard class, the seating was pretty good. The seats were reasonably wide. Uh, there was heaps of leg room in front of you. There was a charging socket on the outside of the cabin. And the seats reclined a fair bit. Uh, very, very comfortable. Uh, the 100 or so kilometres were only covered in about 34 minutes, including three stops. Incidentally, we rode the Glan class on this line a few days earlier. If you're interested in that video review, please look at the trains playlist on my channel. All in all, it was a quiet, comfortable, relaxed ride that was made even better because we travelled light. A short time ago, Japanese Rail introduced a new rule that if you were travelling with large oversized suitcases, you needed to book reserved seats and book your luggage. Jo was able to have her suitcase in front of her and you're also able uh, to put your suitcases in the storage area above. These were new suitcases and we made sure that they were small enough to fit on the Shinkansen without a reserved seat. Details are on the JR website for luggage size. Enjoy just sitting back and watching the countryside roll by. It's actually quite a nice part of the world and a nice part of Japan and it sort of travels along the uh, the northern coast of Honshu Island. It didn't take us very long at all to get to Kanazawa Station. This is a fairly new station that was built uh, when the Shinkansen came to this place just a few years ago. Hey, it's Maximo and here I am at Kazanawa Station. I've just arrived and we've uh, dropped our bags off at the hotel and we're going for a quick tour around Kazanawa. Behind me is the famous Tori Gate of Kazanawa train station. Quite uh, impressive, isn't it? As with a lot of 
train stations in Japan, Kanazawa Station is huge and impressive. Its main feature is that big Tori gate made of wood and steel. It also features a huge glass covered dome and central sort of atrium area that ends in the Tori gate contains some of the stations in the local uh, underground system and adjacent to the big dome is a big bus terminal that takes you all around the city. It's a fantastic public open space and if you walk past the Tory gates at the end of the square there's a water fountain with a very unique feature. The water fountain tells the time in water as well as flashing messages in Japanese and English there's welcome in English quite a unique feature that's very well photographed a good Instagram spot I do hope you've enjoyed this video if so please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons and the notify bell so you won't miss out on any new videos I post if you'd like to support this channel please consider buying me a coffee you can uh, click on the QR code on the screen or a link in the description. I'll be posting more videos in and around Kanazawa in the coming weeks. So until next time, take care and bye.